All right, what's going on, y'all? Uh, Stuntastic 210, doing my first video review on the Jordan 2012. Uh, I was like a lot of people. Initially, I was kind of turned off by the shoe. Uh, but to actually see it in person, it's actually a pretty decent-looking shoe. But for myself, I can't really play ball. So I have a motorcycle. I looked at it from that standpoint. Uh the Volt colorway was initially what attracted me to the shoe. Uh, like I said, I saw the first pictures. They were black and white. And the thing that kind of threw me off was the little wing tip on the front. I was like, did Stacey Adams do a collabo with Jordan? I didn't know what was going on. It's like they just saw a dude in a zoot suit and said, man, let's just make a, a wing tip basketball shoe. But actually seeing the shoe in person... Like, it's pretty dope. And the ability to customize the shoe to your fit as far as having interchangeable lining and insoles is pretty creative. Uh, and then to actually see the design process and what Tinker Hatfield did along with another dude named Joe Ludecki. I think I'm pronouncing it all kinds of wrong, but when you actually see the shoe in person... And also depending on the colorway too. This was the colorway that pretty much did it for me. So I decided to get a pair. Um, it's mainly going to be for casual wear. Like I said, I can't play ball uh, due to an injury. But just rocking it around town, I this is definitely the colorway I would, I would go with. Um, it's a lot of detail that's actually in the shoe. I... I actually tried it on. I have the blue insole um, inside, and the thing, the thing that's really neat about it, like I said, it's its ability, the ability to pretty much customize it to your specifications. It is pretty difficult. I got the tissue paper still in there, but. This is the high top lining. It's, I guess it's mainly for, supposed to be for ankle support, but you can tell it's pretty flimsy. Um, and I think a lot of people with, with Jordans, we've become so accustomed for wearing them for casual use and lifestyle purposes that we forget that these shoes are made to ball in. They're strictly made for performance reasons. And I think when Jordan releases something like this, a lot of people are initially turned off by, by you know, such as myself, because it doesn't fit what we're so used to. And that's what Jordan was made for. It's for basketball. So you have to kind of try to remember that when you're actually uh, purchasing a shoe like this. Um, myself, I actually... I actually like it. I tried it on in the store. It's actually really comfortable. Like I said, with the blue insole. Uh, the one thing I did notice, uh, like a lot of people, the box is pretty huge. Uh, they didn't even have a bag that would fit this fucking box. Now, I had to walk around the mall carrying this. It's pretty bulky. It's like walking around around the mall with a big ass Jordan filing cabinet. Look at this. It's fucking huge. But that's because it comes with so much stuff. And that price point at 223, it is kind of kind of uh, it makes you cringe a little bit because you're paying that much for a Jordan and it's not a retro. And I know that's how a lot of people would feel. Now, if I took my ass around the mall carrying this box, it'd be a completely different story. I walked around the mall for a good while carrying this. I didn't have to worry about nobody robbing my ass because I had a Jordan 2012 box. Now, if I was in the same predicament walking around with this motherfucker, we all know what's going to happen. Now, for 223, 
you may be turned off by it, but there are a lot of things you can actually do with this shoe. Hey, you ain't got no house slippers around the house? <laughs> here you go. These right here, take the inner lining. They already got the, the bottom already as a sole. Bam, you got house slippers. Hey, for 223, you got to figure out shit to do with this motherfucker. Hey, ladies, you get this for your man. Hey, you got different places to put your panties. Period panties, lingerie, work panties. Bam! You crunching numbers, you doing taxes. Hey, 1040EZ right there. You got 10 years worth of tax paperwork. I mean, it's so much stuff. I mean, safe deposit box. It's so much stuff, like a little mini locker. Like, you got to figure out stuff to use with this. Like I said, I think, that, honestly, I could actually see somebody using these as slippers around the house. There's some dope little slippers, too. You got jump man slippers on around the house. But, like I said, I, I, actually, I actually really like this shoe. Um, it doesn't seem like you would have to worry too much about it creasing as far as in the toe area, but it's actually well designed. And if they come out with more colorways that are similar to this, that stand out and pop, uh, I would probably end up getting them. But in this month of February, with so much heat dropping, you got foams, all-star game kicks, um, the Dave White Wings for the Future release. It's so much stuff, but you kind of have to pick and choose what you want to buy this month. Like, February, y your pocket's going to be hurting if you're a sneakerhead. And then also, to mention the Black History Month joints that's coming out. But I actually took a chance. I said, I'm going to actually get these. And hopefully, I have a chance to purchase the, the Galaxy phones. And man, that is just a gorgeous looking shoe. The, the detail that went into it, I'm like really shocked and surprised at how well that shoe looks. Um, that's going to be like an instant cop. Hopefully I will, won't have to purchase off eBay. You have to deal with resellers and you know the price is going to skyrocket from there. Probably four to five bills just for a phone posit. It, it's going to be crazy. So uh, they dropping on the 20, 24th of February this month. Good luck with the servers at Nike and Footlocker.com. It's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. Um, but that's pretty much my thoughts on the shoe. Um, like I said, really well done. And when you actually see the thought process that went behind it and his inspirations for designing the shoe, I I kind of see where he was going. But like I said, when I saw that initial black and white colorway i was like they look like fucking stacy adams wing tip shoes which is pretty much what he designed it from when you see the designs check them out on nicekicks.com you see what actually went behind the design of the shoe um oh yeah gotta shout out sneakerfiles.com uh those guys man i've been following them on twitter they got a lot of a lot of information i met a lot of friends on twitter uh, thanks to them retweeting t uh, pics of just fellow sneaker heads and my pics as well. Um, and just a huge shout out to them. Uh, nice kicks, all the sneaker blogs. I mean, because honestly, without them, I would have like no information as far as what's going to release. It'd be like back in 93. Like you wouldn't know a shoe that was coming out until you actually went into the mall and saw what was in the store. Like, now you have so much access to information. It's, it's crazy. Uh, but I just want to say thank you guys for uh, checking out my video. This is my first one. Um, and hopefully I can bring you guys some more. Uh, I'm kind of shooting in my sneaker room right now. Um, it's actually pretty well done. It's, it's looking a little messy right now. I got a lot of stuff, like, kind of scattered, scattered out everywhere. I got to find time to clean it, but uh, hopefully I can bring you guys some more videos and my thoughts on, you know, new releases. All right, check me out at Stuntastic210. I'm on Twitter. I'm just a regular dude that likes shoes. My style is pretty much 
anything that is loud and doesn't fit the norm. I mean, like I said, I have a lot of stuff. I got Lightning, Adidas. It, I'm, the, mo the majority of my stuff is Nike, but anything that just stands out, you know, I... I even got these, for example. I got the Voltron Rebox. I got the complete entire set. Uh, this is just one of them. The yellow line joints. I mean, stuff like this. I mean, I'm an 80s baby. Of course, I'm going to get the Voltron kicks. I got to. Like, you grow up. Those were like, that's like the best era for cartoons that came out. So, just stuff like that, man. I, I, I love stuff that stands out and not everybody wears. And... Shout out to Memphis too, man. I got to shout out Memphis. That's where I'm from. I'm in San Antonio right now. Uh, and I've met a lot of genuine, cool, down-to-earth sneakerheads just being in San Antonio. Uh, shout out to Baby Astro, J-Born 210. Uh, a lot of, I'm, I know I'm forgetting a, a, quite a few people on Twitter, but, you know, shout out to all you guys, man. I've met a lot of you guys in, here in San Antonio, but those were like the main two people that I met and it kind of just jumped off from there and I was able to meet a lot of people from like Kicks on Tight. Um, oh yeah, shout out to Dallas, man. Like a lot of you guys, man, y'all y'all kind of hold a bond here for for sneakerheads here in San Antonio and shout out to Soul Boutique too. That dude, he, he's a cool dude, man. Julio, gotta shout him out too. Uh, he's doing pretty good. But the thing with sneakerheads, man, and uh, it's so frustrating. Being here in San Antonio, I don't know why we don't have like a house of hoops or anything like that. Um I don't I guess they don't consider us us urban enough. Um, but if you release a hot shoe, people are gonna buy it regardless of what race they are. I, and I know they say you're not urban enough. Uh I know what that's code for. Uh, and I know the majority of people here are Hispanic, but people love shoes and they're going to buy the shoes for the love of shoes. Now, you got the resellers out there, but the majority of the time it's sneakerheads that genuinely love the shoe. And San Antonio needs, you know, a place where they can actually go get a shoe and not have to worry about being raped on the Internet by going to eBay or, you know, other sites like that. They're going to triple and double charge you for, for a shoe. Because you had resellers waiting in line. You know, taking shoes from people that genuinely want and love and want to wear the shoe. So, that's just a couple of my thoughts on, on how I feel. Uh, like I said, you can shoot me some comments down below. But, appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. Alright.